Today is the memorial of St. Louis Bertrand, a Dominican saint. And so we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call to mind our sins and once again ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, they have greatly sinned. In, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, in what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary and her virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, as you fill the heart of Saint Louis Bertrand with the reverent fear of your name, inflame our hearts with the same divine fire, with both love and reverence, we may too serve you faithfully. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God of forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Thus says the Lord, let the nations bestir themselves and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I seat in judgment upon all the neighboring nations. Apply the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come and tread, for the wine press is full. The bats overflow, for great is their malice. Crowd upon crowd, in the valley of decision. For near is the day of the Lord in the valley of decision. Sun and moon are darkened, and the stars withhold their brightness. The Lord rose from Zion, and from Jerusalem raises His voice. The heavens and the earth quake, but the Lord is refuge to His people, a stronghold to the children of Israel. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, am your God, dwelling on Zion, my holy mountain. Jerusalem shall be holy, and strangers shall pass through her no more. And then on that day, the mountains shall drip new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the channels of Judah shall flow with water. A fountain shall issue from the house of the Lord to water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be a waste, and Edom a desert waste. Because of violence done to the people of Judah, because they shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall abide forever, and Jerusalem for all generations. I will avenge their blood, and not leave it unpunished. The Lord dwells in Zion. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are run about Him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of His throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim His justice and all the people see His glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Lights dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to His holy name. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Please stand there.
Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nurse. And Jesus replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning once again and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. As I mentioned a while ago, today is the feast of Saint Louis Bertrand. He is a Dominican saint and he is very close for us, to us Dominicans. And personally, he is my patron saint by virtue of my office because he is the patron saint of the Dominican novices and the Dominican novitiate formators. And who is Saint Louis Beltran? Kung makikita niyo po yung image ni Saint Louis, yung kanyang statue, it's really, really unique. Sa kanyang kanang kamay, meron pong pistola, baril. Pero yung dulo, it's a cross. So, crucifix po siya, pero yung bandang dulo, hawakan, pistol. Sa kabila naman, it's a chalice. Unique, normal naman chalice. Pero ang loob po ng chalice ay mga ahas. Unique na unique, kakaiba. And it's all about the miracles of St. Louis Bertrand. First of all, he is very powerful in his preaching. Malakas po talagang yung kanyang pagmama, pagbabahagi ng mabuting balita ay talagang may, tumu, tinu, may tinutumbo, tagos sa laman. And one time when he was preaching, may tinamaan pong isang opisyal nung panahong iyon, around 15th century. Medyo tinamaan, nagalit, at pagkatapos sa pagkatapos ng kanyang preaching, nilapitan si St. Louis Bertrand at nag-attempt na barilin. Kinuha yung pistol at talagang babarilin. And eventually, what St. Louis Bertrand did, he actually made the sign of the cross. And after doing the sign of the cross, lumabas po na yung, yung baril po ay naging crucifix. Another one, the chalice, eh dahil nga po napakagaling niyang mag-sermon at that time. Yung mga religious sex before, nag-attempt to siya to poison him. Kaya ang ginawa, kunwari pinainom ng alak sa chalice. But then again, he simply made the sign of the cross. And eventually, lumabas po sa chalice ay mga ahas. Ibig sabihin, poison ang laman sa inuming iyon. And a lot of miracles being associated with St. Louis Bertrand simply because of his faith and his faithfulness at the same time testimony, witnessing in the preaching the gospel. And basically, it's, it's the, 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 mo, the more formal appointment that he had received is all about formation life in the novitiate. Ang dami po niyang naipakita at ipamalas sa formation ng mga Dominicano noon. Kaya he is our patron saint for all the Dominican novices and of course the Dominican person, novitiate personnel. Now if we are going to relate it with the gospel, indeed, St. Louis Beltran can be the best model for this. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Observing in a sense that you're not simply doing, you're not simply accept it, but you have to live by it. Isa sa buhay ang mabuting balita ng Diyos. Kaya ito yung hamon sa atin, lalong-lalo na dito sa Pilipinas. Yes, if you see the churches, it's all full. Marami nagsisimba. But the challenge is, sinasabuhay ba? 
Yes, maraming panata, maraming deboto ang tanong na isa sa buhay ba sa salita, na ipapakita ba sa gawa, at higit sa lahat, na dahadala ba sa mga decision-making at prinsipyo sa buhay. And this is actually the challenge that being confronted by the Church in the Philippines nowadays. It's about the value of witnessing the Word of God that we heard in the Gospel. Paano natin ipapamalas ito? Just like in the life of St. Louis Bertrand, at that time, ang kalaban niya po ay yung mga, yung mga mayayaman o sabihin natin, pinaglalaban niya ang mga hihirap. Pinaglalaban niya ang mga mabababa. Pinaglalaban niya ang mga taong walang-wala. Because of the abusive power of those people who are on top. And if you are going to look at it, it's almost the same. Maybe in a very, in, in a, a very different manner. Andun pa rin yung, yung pag-aabuso ng kapangyarihan. And the challenge is that how are we going to bring along with us the teachings of the gospel even in our own simple ways as a student, as a teacher, as a family person, as a religious, as a sister, as a priest, or just a simple, ordinary person. Paano natin isa sa buhay ito? Again, we are reminded of the value of observing the Word of God that we heard in the Gospel, just like what St. Louis Bertrand. And more than that, my dear friends, if there is a good model for all of us that will always remind us about the value of listening and observing the Word of God is none other than our Blessed Mother, Mary. Matapos niyang sumagot ng yes, consistently, dala-dala niya ang yes na iyon. As Catholics, as Christians, we made our promise as well. By the sacrament of baptism, we also committed ourselves to God. The challenge is, how are we going to live by it until death? And this is something that we need to pray more. Ipanalangin po natin ang bawat isa that we will always be mindful of this. That in the words we say, in all the things that we do, in all our decisions, even in our principles, especially at this time of forthcoming elections, sana po nakakabit sa atin ang mga salita ng Diyos. We all stand. Inspired by Mary's faith and courage, we bring our needs before God the Father. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, be it done to us. Lord, be it done to us. That under the patronage of Mary, the leaders of the Church, we bring God's people closer to Christ by their preaching and example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be it done to us. That like Mary, we may welcome the Word of God into our hearts and respond to it with generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be it done to us that following the example of Mary, mothers may make their homes dwelling places of love and holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be it done to us that God may look with compassion on the sick with the help of Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be it done to us that the dead may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of Mary and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be it done to us. My dear friends, in silence, we offer to God all our needs, all our petitions, special intentions, and the intentions of people who really ask for our prayers for the thanksgiving, for the gift of life, those who are celebrating their birthdays, at the same time asking for the gift of healing for the sick and asking for the eternal repose of those who have died.
Heavenly Father, you chose Mary to be the mother of your son. Help us through her intercession that we may treasure the memory of your son's death and resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. We bring these gifts to you, Lord, on this feast of our brother Louis Bertrand. We accept our bread and wine as a sign of our faithful service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For us, as on the festival of St. Louis Bertrand, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Louis Bertrand, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Loving God, may these gifts which we have received on this feast of our brother Louis Bertrand nourish us and increase our zeal for the preaching of the word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa nitong ating banal na misa at makakaasa po kayo ng patuloy naming panalangin para sa ating lahat. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all your rosaries and all religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.